Welcome back to Odyssey News. I am Mike Odyssey, and in today we have Rapid Fire News, which is basically a little bit of everything in the world of Nintendo, really, really, really fast, so that I can, you know, just just to let you know what's happening in the world of Nintendo. And of course, the main story for today has to do with Tears of the Kingdom and Aiji Onoma. I just butchered it. Yes, I did. And uh, basically, he just said something in his uh, acceptance speech for the most anticipated game of the year award that I think we should go over because it, it actually speaks about the game. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Welcome to the Odyssey. Hit the like, press play. You're running with the squad like Z, no play. Drive like Mario, we on a... So before we get into today's stories, you see, I want to ask you one thing. I want to ask for your subscription. You see, I'm legally blind and I'm basically losing my sight uh, as we go. I don't have sight on my left eye and I have about 40% sight of my right eye. And it's just fading away, right? The doctors right now have nothing else they can do. But I have a dream to become a full-timer on YouTube by the end of this year. And I, I'm, I want to ask you for your help. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel right now, it'll only take a second. For me, it'll just change my life. So if you could do that right now, I would really appreciate it. Here we have Monday to Friday Nintendo news. On the weekends, we have products and reviews. And we also have the occasional and topic podcast with your favorite voice actor. So I would really appreciate it. It will mean the world to me. And I just want to thank you in advance for giving me your subscription. Let's move on to today's stories. All right, so first up in Rapid Fire News, we have Sonic Frontiers. The, the first of three DLC update is coming this week. So stay tuned for that. If you are playing Sonic Frontiers, DLC is on its way. We also have news on a rumored Activision game developed by Activision, <laughs> Donkey Kong, basically. And uh, it looks like in the, the game has moved to EDP. Basically, EDP is where uh, Mario Odyssey was basically produced and uh, developed. So it looks like the game of Donkey Kong was moved from one developer company to another. Uh, basically, this is good news because the EDP, uh, EDP team are, are better at making games. I mean, there's they're possible for Mario games and I guess they're giving Donkey Kong the Mario treatment. Moving on to the next news. And the GameCube remasters continues. We have a rumor here that Next Level Games is apparently working on an F-Zero GX remaster. The source is, of course, Nintendo Prime, my buddy, over at uh, Nate. And uh, yeah, it looks like the Next Level Games is apparently working on F-Zero Game GX remaster. So, I mean, this is the GameCube remaster year. So what better year than, than to get an F-Zero game finally after so many years? than this year so yeah there you have it if you like f-zero there apparently is a rumor out there that next level games is working on a remaster for f-zero gx and let's end rapid fire news with tears of the kingdom because guess what that's also our main story of the day and japan c-o-m-g reveals that zelda tears of the kingdom has already surpassed breath of the wild in pre-orders so there you have it guys i'll be ending with tears of the kingdom and rapid fire news because tears of the kingdom is the most anticipated game has already surpassed breath of the wild in pre-orders and that is fantastic news which brings us to today's top story so in today's top news our source here is janky japan and here here we have the twitter page for today's top news it says here zelda tears of the kingdom won most anticipated game at the Famitsu Game Awards, but not that's not the news. We know that that's the case. Nintendo won also at the Game Awards for, for uh, Tears of the Kingdom, most anticipated game. And of course, Famitsu followed suit and gave them the most anticipated game because it is the most anticipated game. But the real news here is what A.G. Aonuma said about Tears of the Kingdom during his acceptance speech. Let's go ahead and read it. In the previous title, Breath of the Wild, you were able to experience a new world of Zelda with the freedom to go wherever and do whatever you want. In the sequel, Tears of the Kingdom, furthermore, the player's free imagination will be filled with a new gameplay that will bring about changes to the game world. I think that everyone who voted will feel pleasantly surprised and I hope you can enjoy the unknown Hyrule as you like. 
thank you. I want you guys to take this as confirmation that yes, Tears of the Kingdom will bring a high rule that we do not yet know and although we are spending time in the same hyrule land that we left behind in breath of the wild i doubt we'll be spending our time in the great plateau you know there's a lot of new to explore the skies the underground who knows what this world brings as he stated here it is unknown and we will be surprised like he said i, I feel like you will be pleasantly surprised and I hope you can enjoy the unknown Hyrule. I mean, this just creates so much anticipation for this game. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Seriously, the most anticipated game of the year. I think the most anticipated game so far of my lifetime. And I am super excited about this. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this little unknown phrase. Because we know that there's, there's so much that we don't know. We don't know. So hopefully we'll learn soon in the upcoming nintendo direct dedicated to this game so there you have it guys that is going to do it for today's episode of odyssey news but before i let you go i need to let you know two very important things number one never give up and number two journey on peace we're on a journey looking back on the things that we've taken for granted but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now